Craig Kettleman is the former treasurer of Bernalillo County. He and his wife, Betsy, find themselves exploited by Saul Goodman. He gave us terrible legal advice, absolute malpractice, really. I mean, he actively tried to ruin us. He broke into our house and stole... Really, it's too many things to list? Yeah. In 1992, Jimmy McGill works in the mailroom at Hamlin Hamlin McGill, where his brother Charles is a named partner. Chuck McGill was a god around these parts. He was like the, the second coming of Clarence Darrow. And then his brother becomes a lawyer. Slipping Jimmy with a mail-order diploma from University of wherever it is. I mean, wow. questions about her dad why did Mike get so upset I mean the, the, the easy answer is he missed his son and it brought up old memories and you know and he just lashed out at his granddaughter but that's not like Mike you know he loved his granddaughter. I mean, I've been sitting here trying to think why. What's what was the the point of that? Was that to stop him from babysitting her because he's busy with Gus? Or I don't know. I've been trying to figure that out. Like, what the fuck is wrong with Mike? Why did he do that? That is so not Mike. You know? I don't know. Is there no other way, truly? There are so many stars visible in New Mexico. I will walk out there. Anyway, welcome to episode three, y'all. Better Call Saul, season five. 
We're going to keep this party going. Nacho picked up Saw. Dropped this ice cream cone. And he got Saw. So let's see what the fuck's finna go down. Alright? Love y'all. Let's get started. Episode 3. What the fuck? This wild kingdom? It's gonna take a minute. It's gonna take a minute. What do this mean? What is symbolic about this ice cream cone and ants are devouring this? What the fuck do this mean, Peter Vince? Ah, oh, fuck. Ice cream on the ground, ants, one come, all of them come. Uh. Uh, what does that mean? Uh... I'll talk. I have a feeling I know what this is about. So just to get the ball rolling, <laughs> please keep in mind that whatever happened between Mr. Varga and myself, I'm hoping that it's just water under the bridge. Because after all was said and done, you did walk out a free man. I mean, you weren't even in custody for a full day. And I admit, it was a tad bumpy getting there, but the path to justice is really smooth, so I'm hoping that in the end, you know, the final result speaks for itself. You have business with my cousin, Tuco. Tuco? What? Oh, sure, sure, yeah. And I see the family resemblance. Your cousin makes quite an impression. You know, he, he has a huge heart, and a a serious passion for justice. He's got a temper, huh? Now he's got one for real! You tell your mama you're sorry, bitch! Other one! Hell yeah! I hadn't noticed. Uh, <clears throat> how was your lovely Abuelita? You know, Tuko told me about you. You're the guy with the mouth. Those guys at the house. What they call her? Business. Business, yeah. 
Right. You know the Tuco I know? He would have skinned them alive and let the buzzards eat their eyeballs. Hell, fuck there yeah! There you were. You go blah, blah, blah. And they walk out of there. I mean, it's amazing, really. They wheel down, <laughs> actually. So, Ignacio and I, you got something you can do for us. Just for a minute there, I thought I was going to be swallowing condoms filled with heroin. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe later. We have a guy sitting in MDC, picked up two days ago. Uh, picked up for what? Yeah, we'll get to that. We need our friend to tell the cops some things. Some important things. Important things, gotcha. We want him to say exactly what we tell him. No more, no less. But the cops can't know it's coming from us. So, we send you in there, you tell them how to do it, and they can't listen. Journey client confidentiality. Yeah, that. This, this, I guarantee there are five of these in MDC right now. You know, drop phones inside someone's prison wallet, if you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, you talk directly to your guy. Cut out the middleman. It works better if you're in there with him. You're the guy for this. <sighs> Wait, good conscience, I think I have to warn you that my, my rates have gone up. Uh, so going this way could be expensive. But how expensive? It's expensive. It's, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, gee, it's a full day of my time and prep work transportation, rush fees, uh, do the math, it's like seven thousand eight nine hundred uh, twenty-five dollars. Yeah. How about your fucking life? Yeah. Seven thousand nine hundred and twenty-five? Uh, it's, it's the going rate, so... A few minutes later. Do it mean Kim used to be sweet and the ice cream on the sidewalk mean she's no longer sweet and the ants have brought her to the dark side. Asshole. 
Hey, yo, Gramps can throw down. Okay. Yo, you want a little people to talk to you like that? Hold up, Gramps. <laughs> Interesting people and had a few ups and downs. But you know what? Financially speaking, Saul Goodman just had his best day yet. Ka-ching. Enfrenta lo que has hecho. Si quieres huir, huye. Pero yo, ni madres, yo no voy a huir. Nice to meet you, young lady. A few moments later. Steph, this is not the time, all right? 
Your argument is well reasoned. However, in denying the motion. Your Honor, I'd like to remind you that this was essentially nothing more than a family dispute. Yeah, I'm going to stop you right there. This is not your client's first negative interaction with the victim, which shows pattern of behavior. And as such, I still agree with the state that this matter is worth the court's time. Your Honor. Jury selection begins June 16th. I'm sorry, this didn't go our way. Going in, we all knew getting the case dismissed would be a long shot. The judge seemed kind of mad. What does that mean? We'll have a chance to explain what really happened in front of a jury of regular people. We're, you were trying to do a good thing, and I think they'll see that. Just keep the faith, okay? okay. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll be right back. It's Rich. This is the second time he's called. Hey, Rich. I'm confused. God. I thought you'd get away to come carry by now. Uh, Rich. I just got off with Kevin Wattell. He wants you there right now to straighten this out, hands on. Well, I'm flattered, but... My clients need me. I have a full day of appearances here. Well, I can tell you, he's called twice in 40 minutes. I promise you, Tukum Carey's under control. The associates are more than capable. Help me understand. It's not like you're in the middle of a murder trial. Rich, this, this is just Kevin being Kevin. Now, don't get me wrong. I respect your devotion to your pro bono clients. But Mesa Verde keeps the lights on. Can we agree on that? Mm-hmm. The old has already briefed Stephen Gary. They'll take your afternoon cases and get continuances if necessary. So get yourself down there, stat. All right. I'm on my way. I'm your new lawyer. I didn't call no lawyer. No, you didn't. Lalo did. I didn't say anything to no one. I kept my mouth shut. I know, I know. Don't worry, kid. I'm nothing but good news for you. We got a lot to go over here. How are you at memorization? Put on for a minute, I'm laid back 
make a law, enjoy the show. Tell them to bring the money, we'll enjoy the show. Put it off in the pool, I'm swimming for about an hour. Every day, I be hot on the throttle and I'm pursuing the cake. Man, I pay no attention to what these losers will say. It took you that long for something I could do in a day. Took you that long for something I could do in a week. Took you that long for something I could do in my sleep. I go so hard, and homie, I don't usually sleep. A little longer than a few minutes later.